I talked to uh, a uh, counselor, Veronica Seitz is her name, and she specializes in uh, stress management. And uh, we just got into a, a conversation about everybody that's out there that's just uh, stressed out a little bit. And I was asking her, uh, what the hell should we do to chill? Well, maybe we should get Trump and Clinton talking to you so you can resolve their conflicts. You think you could do that? That would be quite a case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that certainly would. All right, well, then let's, let's, let's work on us. Uh, there are many. There's a new survey from the American Psychological Association that says that the major source of stress is this election. Is that true? It, it is. It's, it's, it's been increasingly stressful in big part because we've got so much social media that is really feeding and fueling the fire of debate between people on their positions and then of course you've got the back and forth that the our candidates just you know it's a challenge mm. it's been a great challenge mm. well, so what do you recommend I, I mean a lot of uh, my listeners my friends say you know what i've done I, i've stopped watching television they do apologize to me they say matt we love you love you and share but we, we just can't listen to some of this and so they're waiting for november 8th and then they'll you know maybe tune back in is that something you may recommend i hope you don't i mean just tell them to listen to, to me and share and my afternoon show, and then everything else I can turn off. Well, they shouldn't negate not listening to you, but however, it, it is wise to set some boundaries and limitations on if, it, if you do recognize that it is increasing your stress, take care of you. The main thing is when people have already made up their mind and they are agitated by what is, you know, what's triggering the stress, and they're still engaging in it. One of the things is we have absolute control over making the decision to lower our stress. We just forget to enact that. Mm, that's very good. That's very, very good. So, I mean, just relax and, and don't allow this to really, you know, because some people argue with, you know, neighbors or they argue with other relatives. And, and that really can, you know, ignite a lot of other uh, issues and give you some stomach aches and goodness knows what else, and, and that's not necessary. You know, you're right, and we all have one ability that is the most powerful one, and that is responsibility. And that is when we make up our mind, the responsibility is already to take action as far as when we go to the polls, whether it's early voting or it's the day of. One thing that we need to remember is I also, for as an individual, I have the responsibility to make sure that I'm in good health because we want you to make it to the poll. Right. Go ahead and cast your vote. And, right. you know, stressing out is, is, you know, it can compromise your health. Uh, that's why I throw in Veronica. I, I throw in a lot of humor. I try to throw in stuff that <laughs> makes people laugh. I mean, yeah. that is just so important. Well, I appreciate so much you being with us uh, this morning, and uh, we'll keep in contact with you just in case I run into anybody that could use your help. Thank you, Matt. Have a great morning.